What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be breaking down some Marcus Golden film. Golden signed a one-year deal with the Pittsburgh Steelers a couple weeks ago. Um, wanted to give you guys kind of a, a quick view of what he is as a player. Going to look at some of his pass rush reps, uh, some run defense stuff, and kind of show you guys you know, what he's going to bring to the Steel City. Just before we get into the video, just please make sure that you like the video. If you like this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel. All that stuff is greatly appreciated on my end. So let's get started. So all these clips are going to come from both of the games against Seattle last season. Um, I think it shows a good representation of kind of who he is as a player and how he wins. So let's take a look uh, first off with some, some uh, pass rush clips. Uh, Golden is a guy who plays a lot of wide nine. Um, you'll see here with a little speed to power. This is really who he wants to be as a pass rusher. I mean, he is a power rusher. I usually try to classify guys between like speed, finesse, or power rushers. Um, I would classify Golden as a power rusher. You're going to see him plant this foot, this left foot right here, into the ground. Good leverage. He's going to use his hands to attack the elbows and the arms of this offensive tackle to get into his chest, put him on skates, uh, you know, move him right back to Geno Smith. So nice rep there. Pressure, you know, does that cause the incompletion? I'm not sure. Not a great ball by Geno there, but um, that's who he is as a rusher. Um, Arizona does a lot of creative stuff. If you've never watched their defense, um, it's chaos, really, from, from the jump. Um, they run a lot of five-man fronts a lot of games they blitz a lot uh, and golden was a big part of that here you'll see them running what's called a te stunt so you got the tackle uh crashing you got him as the looper coming up the middle uh nice job here i think for him just keeping his shoulder square you know and even though this guard is able to get kind of a late hand on him as he's coming up the middle i do like the balance that he shows and then just the hustle to bring down Smith before he can get this pass off. And really that's the other part of Golden's game, which I think is really impressive is just, you know, he has that junk junkyard dog kind of mentality. He hustles plays to the whistle, very similar to what, you know, the Steelers typically look for in all their defensive players, but especially their pass rushers. So he fits right in, in that regard. And, you know, for Golden, He's not the most uh, athletically gifted player, and I'll show you guys some clips on where that kind of shows up. But, um, you know, he plays to the whistle, and that's something that I really appreciate um, about his game. So here's kind of another example of one of the kind of stunts that they run up front. Uh, this is a third down play as well, but you see Golden watching the snap here. He's going to be used as the crasher, kind of getting into this guard, and then you know, still keep it moving, keep moving upfield, ends up getting a hit on Geno. Um, so a solid rep there, even though the pass is complete. So this is one of the things that I noticed about Golden's pass rush plan in general. Like I said, he is a pure speed rusher. Basically, he has three moves that he goes to as primary moves. Um, he has a what I would classify as a speed rip. That's just winning off the edge with speed, which, you know, is definitely not his forte and probably the least successful of his primary moves. And then he has, you know, a speed to power uh, move that he, you know, uses quite a bit. I'd say that's probably his go to. And then he has a, a side scissors or two hand swipe, which I'll show you guys some examples of as well. But uh, what I like about Golden is that he never takes himself out of the rep. And I think that that's uh, that has value as an edge rusher, especially if you're not going to be a speed threat off the edge, uh, which Golden really isn't. You know, he does a good job once he gets to this kind of fist step, making sure that he is, you know, getting his hips and his shoulders turn towards the quarterback so that he can start to initiate this bull rush. You know, he plays with really good leverage as well. He's able to consistently get underneath tackles, shoulder pads on his way to the quarterback. And this is a pretty good recovery by the tackle, but you see that Golden's presence there with him pushing the pocket 
uh, forces Gino out on the move and he ends up throwing this ball away. But really what I what I like, man, is like he he's just a very smart player who understands what his game is. He understands his physical limitations. and He's just very technically sound. And I think he puts himself around the ball so much just with his hustle and with his, you know, football IQ. And that's why you see him get a lot of quarterback hits, even though his sack production uh, does vary a lot from season to season. And you guys, if you have listened to videos on this channel, you guys have heard me talk about motor and, you know, how it increases the floor to a pass rusher's game, even if the ceiling will kind of vary, uh, you know, golden, even when he came into the league way back in like 2015, I believe, uh, he, you know, he didn't test very well. He doesn't have the longest arms, but you know, he's been an incredibly successful player. Um, a good, what I would call like number two or number three guy on several defenses, just because of that motor, um, and that football IQ, you know, he's got some power to his hands too. So, um, Right here, you'll see another example of this is kind of what I would call a flash technique. So he's trying to kind of sell maybe a long arm here to get the offensive tackle to shoot his hands. The offensive tackle does have to kind of cross over to kind of get out to him right here. Um, again, you see him go speed to power, kind of push the pocket a little bit. Don't think he's actually credited with that sack, but, you know, still in the vicinity. Um you know, he just plays with so much energy, man. He, it's definitely something that I appreciate. And I, I honestly haven't – I've known about Golden for a long time, but since he's played his whole career in the NFC uh, and with me mainly focusing on, you know, Steelers tape, I don't get the chance to see him. So I, it's nice to get a, a kind of a look and see, like, how he's been so successful um, over the course of his career. Wanted to talk a little bit about some things that I noticed that, you know, maybe I already talked about some of the athletic limitations. He doesn't want around the edge or uh, to the outside shoulder a ton. But I liked his pass rushing repertoire and just overall success rate a lot better in a two point stance as opposed to a three point stance. And at least in the games that I've watched, I felt like, you know, when he was in this uh, three point stance, he wasn't nearly explosive off the ball. I felt like he would kind of stand almost straight up instead of exploding forward. And it kind of gave tackles an extra beat to kind of get to the corner um, and kind of protect the edge on him as well. So there you see another example of a swipe, you know, not overly successful. I think the, the tackle definitely wins that rep. But, you know, again, you see the hustle just even though he's out of the play, he's never really out of the play uh, because you always got to be wary of him. Uh, chasing you down from behind. So it's a kind of unique rep uh, that I think shows, you know, some of the things that tackles will do to him. Uh, Charles Cross is a, a big jump set guy. If you remember his tape from a couple years ago, coming out of college, really good player. He's going to be an excellent tackle for the long term. Um, you know, but Cross is able to kind of get out on him using a little jump set. Um, and immediately kind of establish that first contact with Golden. And Golden doesn't have a ton of length, uh, so you see him sometimes just kind of get swallowed up by these bigger, longer tackles, um, which is kind of inevitable with his skill set. Now, what I do like, I talked about, you know, his football IQ. You know, he's 32 years old, been around the league for quite a while, so he understands, you know, what tackles are trying to do to him. So he picks up on things as the game goes on. Uh, this is actually the very next play. I like this a lot, you know, cross kind of 45 sets in, uh, which really, in my opinion, if I'm this isn't offensive tackle film room, but I don't love this set from him, especially with uh, chipping tight end to his side. But I like how Golden, you know, plants this right foot in the ground and then instantly uses his arm over swim move. That's his primary inside counter. Um, you know, good job by Cross to recover, who's extremely athletic. But again, you see Golden's just motor. I mean, it never stops. Um, it never stops going. And that's why, you know, you see him always around the ball in the backfield. So awesome play right there. I think this is the last pass rushing snap that I've got. Again, another example of him rushing from a three-point stance. Again, I just don't really see the same, you know, he's not an overly twitchy guy in general. But I just think that he's a lot easier to stay in front of um, when he's coming out of that three-point stance because I just think he lifts almost straight up. 
You see, he doesn't cover very much ground or distance with that first foot, not really exploding up the field. This tackle, he's really never threatened. Uh, this is kind of an easy set for Lucas, and in my opinion, a really bad rep for him, ducking his head, got his, you know, his shoulders over his toes. This is a situation like as a veteran pass rusher, you would really like to see him win off this either, you know, bend and lower, lower the shoulder, reduce the surface area and kind of bend the corner. But, you know, he doesn't really like to win that way. You know, he's not overly comfortable um, bending the edge through contact. So you just have to know kind of what player he is. The, the good thing about him, though is that even though he's not overly bendy and isn't going to win that way, he doesn't ever run himself out of play. So he does feel himself around that eight to nine yard mark in the pocket. Um, he will get to the quarterback instead of just getting rushed up the arc. Um, so, I, so I do like that about him, uh, even if there are some athletic limitations to his pass rush plan. Um, now we're going to get into some run defense stuff. And this is where I was really impressed. Uh, you know, I know that Golden's had some good years as a pass rusher throughout his career, but I wasn't really familiar of what, uh, he brought to the table as a run defender. So Seattle's going to be running kind of what I would uh, classify, I guess, as kind of GT counter. They're going to be in the pulling the, um, the guard and the tackle on this play. You see Golden does a good job, you know, making sure that Geno's actually handing this ball off and, you know, the quick processing ends up chasing this play down from behind as a run defender. So, you know, that motor, you know, it's, it's obviously there as a pass rusher, but you know, it, it's red hot as a run defender as well, which, you know, is something that I thought was an underrated need for the Steelers. You know, they drafted Nick Herbig uh, to kind of uh, help them get a little bit more depth um, as from a pass rushing standpoint, but I'm not sure that he's ready as a run defender. Whereas golden, I have no problem or issue with after seeing his film. I think that he can come in and do these things off the bench or if something happens to water high Smith, but here the Cardinals, like I said, they run a lot of exotic stuff, run stunts. Uh, you know, this is going to be called like kind of a gap exchanging run stunt. You know, he's going to come down and fill this A gap with the linebacker scraping over the top. Just I love how he stuns this guy, almost stops him in his tracks. You know, that and the penetration from the three tech kind of forces Walker back into the flow of the defense. And then watch Golden gets off the block, you know, drives that running back into the turf. Just really appreciate the physicality um, and just the, like I said, the frenetic energy almost, you know, I mean, when teams would try to block him with a tight end, I always say like with edge rushers, you want to see them take those matchups personally here. They're running a little split, uh, split flow zone, bringing the tight end across. You see, he's got a lot to deal with from a, from an odd discipline standpoint, they're bringing the jet motion. So he's got to confirm that. Then he, you see his eyes move to Geno, confirm there's no bootleg, which Seattle does a lot of bootlegs. So you really have to be cognizant um, of that whenever you're placing, uh, playing Geno. Uh, but you see him work through all the threats here. He eyes this uh, you know, tight end coming across the formation, kind of just ragdolls him, throws him to the ground, and then gets in on the tackle. So um, it, it's impressive stuff, man, against the, against the ground. And this rep in, in particular, man, for a guy that doesn't have, you know, the prototypical edge length, you know, really, um, it was probably my favorite rep uh, from him in this film room was, you know, Seattle's trying to run a little outside zone. They have the tight end to his side. They're going to get a little double team across coming over. I really like uh, Golden fighting to get his helmet on the outside shoulder here because he is the force player. You know, trying to force this back inside. You see him doing a good job, you know, locking this tight end out, driving him backwards, getting his outside arm free. And from here, Walker has no chance uh, to bounce this outside, which is really his game. Uh, he's forced to kind of cut this up. Uh, and Golden kind of, you know, makes this tackle easy on, you know, the rest of his defense. So, you know, he does a lot of stuff um, in this defense to make, other players look good i think too um you know he's a glue guy that's probably the best way that i could probably describe him is he does some stuff that doesn't show up on the stat sheet even though he's not like the flashiest of pass rushers um i like this play just from a hustle perspective a little third down call they're doing a little um kind of jet motion from the gun you know kind of flips this to this guy right here watch him come all the way across the field lays a booming hit on this guy with buddha baker 
gets him airborne, drives him to the ground, short of the sticks. Awesome play by him there. Another football IQ type of play right here. It's a really popular, you know, rollout kind of concept. Um, I've seen Seattle run this a bunch over the course of the season, but get a little play action. Misdirection here. They're trying to sneak the back into the flat. Uh, I like Golden. You know, he sees this kind of coming across, but also, you know, doesn't over pursue and then goes and gets the quarterback. You know, has a chance to bring him down right here. But, you know, sometimes the pressure can potentially result in really good things for your defense, even if you don't get the sack. And there probably should have been an interception. <laughs> I don't know how we didn't come up with this one. Uh, so it's a little bit frustrating from that perspective. But overall, you know, Marcus Golden, I would say, you know, it's interesting to me because I see the sack numbers, you know, they just kind of go all over the place from season to season with him. But, you know, he's always been a valuable player. And that's just because, you know, his pressure numbers always remain about the same. And I think that's just because you know what you're going to get from him on a snap to snap basis. Uh, he's going to play incredibly hard. He's going to be, you know, a, primarily a power rusher. He can, he can hit you with some inside counters with that swim move. Really smart player, a disciplined player a guy who understands how to play the game and just always around the football because he doesn't get himself uh, ran out of plays. And, you know, I think from a run defense standpoint, you know, he holds up really well despite not having, you know, the prototypical link. He can set the edge. He does some dirty work uh, stuff for you. He can do some stuff on some run stunts. Um, I'm curious if the Steelers try to use him in some three outside linebacker packages, maybe on passing downs, kind of similar to what they did with Melvin Ingram. I don't think he's quite as good at, that stuff as Ingram was just because Ingram had still had some uh, some real impressive juice as a one on one rusher um, in that regard. But I, I will say that I think that they're going to at least explore that in the preseason, um, you know, but Golden, I think that this is a really good signing. This was really cheap. They get experience. They get a veteran who's been around you know, high, high football IQ, hustle guy. This is a locker room type dream um, of a player that I'm sure like all of his coaches just absolutely love. So um, I enjoyed watching his film. I, I will say that I think that expectations for Golden need to be tempered a little bit because I think people might see that, oh, he has three double-digit sack seasons. He could come in here and get eight or nine sacks. I don't think that that's going to happen. But I also don't think that the Steelers really need that to happen. If he comes in and gets you four or five sacks and decent pressure rates and plays the run um, at a solid level and, you know, the guys like Alex Highsmith and T.J. Watt stay healthy, this is going to be our strength of the Steelers defense. So I'm really excited to see how all these pieces come together. Um, overall, I was really impressed with the with the signing, especially when you consider the cost. This is a, a zero risk move that I think um, is going to give the Steelers a, a really solid glue guy uh, depth player at a really important position for their defense. So um, I appreciate you guys tapping in with me. Um, if you guys stay to the end of the video, please make sure that you like the video. Make sure y'all drop a comment um, on what you think of Golden, maybe some things that you guys want to see me break down in future videos. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I will holler at you guys next time. Peace.